changes are in the community. It's been slower in some of the field. I don't think we're so far off the mark that when we get to this finished product for the UDO, it's not going to lend itself and really be a tremendous tool for our comp plan, which I think objectively is the big broad goals of the town of Summerfield and its people remain mostly the same. Um, and then that manage section, section or, or if you will, the separate language plan, future language plan will go about how we as a group design um, our land use in our jurisdiction. Now you asked about the zoning board's involvement, so they're certainly going to be part of that. And there's going to be some public meetings as well to get people involved in this to talk about it. We have charrettes in, in an ideal world, you know, just tables around with citizens come out and we talk about which one I like to incorporate into it. Um, so the zoning board will have a role in it. Um, and that, the size of that role, the amount, the, the scope of their role may have to be defined and it may already be established per our development ordinance. If you're assuming that the consultant will come in and do the land use plan, then you're right. Uh, I don't see that to be the case at all. And, and as far as uh, order and how, let, let's all remember how a land use plan uh, came about and, and ended up in the budget. It came about through the UDO process and having the UDO review committee, an ad hoc committee, through their uh, two year process almost of uh, making sure the comp plan and this UDO draft were congruent, were on the same page, uh, were complementary to each other. Out of that process is where the recommendation came to the town to do a land use plan. There had been no uh, serious appetite for a land use plan until that point. And I think that process was really helpful uh, to, to, to bring that uh, to everyone's attention. And so we're doing right now, we're doing what that committee recommended by pursuing a land use plan. And so the retreat outcome was, let's get the UDO done, this, then let's focus on um, the land use plan, and then let's uh, focus on updating the comp plan that's now uh, 10 years old. So, so we've got a strategic plan of how we're going about this, if you will. And uh, it's it's just we got to be think through the process of this land use plan because. Uh, Scott, I think that Lynn's point is that this we're on schedule. We're we're not we're not where we said we were going to be. That's right. And and. And there's got to be a reason for that. And whatever the reason is, it needs to be fixed so we can get back on schedule. I mean, we, our citizens deserve to know what their expectations are of them and, their, and what they can do with their problem is what it comes down to. So that's what this, this thing is all about. Right. And and that's that's exactly that, why I think that's where her frustration. So can we make a motion to change what we said at the retreat or change the consensus and say, we now believe because of time and how long it's taking and COVID and et cetera, et cetera, that now we believe that these two things should run simultaneously. One might get, it might be a little jig jag where things aren't, this one might stop for a minute and then this one moves on and then vice versa. But at least something is being done. Whereas you just said a little while ago, or somebody said that the UDO might be put off to a way into next year. Well, then that means land use plan into the next year at the rate that we're going. Well, so just so consider the structure here. We have this council in December set forth the process of how we're going to finish the UDA. And the very first step was later the zoning board gets to get through its working recommendation. And so we have been, we staff have been uh, pushing the zoning board to to not get down in the weeds about substantive matters that had already been decided. So we are staff is is encouraging us on the board to keep working, meet. We know it's a challenging time with the pandemic, but if you're willing and comfortable, keep meeting, keep working, let's get it done. And we've been pushing that. So if you want to communicate a message to the zoning board, that's what I'm hearing that there's frustration that your work is not done. Well, they are a board that that is appointed by your at, at your pleasure. So, um, what I'm hearing is you want the zoning board to finish their work so we can get on to, to step two, three, and four. What I want is if you video continue to be worked on, and at the same time, we're going to work on this this land use plan. So they're being done at the same time. That's what that's what I personally want. I'm not sure.
Yeah. You want to you want the name yeah. plan done by a consultant, not by the zoning board, even though they probably wouldn't be. Involved. Well, I would expect that the consultant <coughs> would ask the zoning board questions, and they would be able to tie in as needed. But I have a feeling that the zoning board would not be the ones that were going to actually write the plan. Probably. That consultant, that's what they do all day long. Their heads in those weeds all day long. They know how to write it. The, you got 73 this way, you got 220 this way, you got the lakes down here. And then you got residential out here. So, so I, the directive is let's do a land use plan that's largely uh, largely built and by the consultants. Yeah, we can get started on that. Um, I, I think now let's do a land use plan that's built by the law. That's what should be controlling all of us. I mean, you know, the law and what you can legally do and what we as a town can legally do. So, so I think back to 2010, maybe 12, and we had a consultant out of Raleigh or Perry right to UVA. And it was terrible. And it was legally what was allowed. I. And I might be off in the years, I don't remember this, but it, it allowed for density that I don't think anybody wants to see. It allowed for types of development that I don't think anybody wants to see. So I think we have to be really careful saying consultant go do it. We paid that group a fair amount of money, if I remember correctly. And they brought us back a product that is not Summerfield. And so I think it's critical that, that for when you get on, and I'm very thankful for the zoning board. I do feel like from the outside looking in, sometimes I feel they've gotten Maybe they've turned the page back a chapter or two when they need to be going forward still. And so I think a message from council would be, hey, zoning board, your charge was to, to meet this deadline. And we understand COVID, we understand you missed a couple of months, but you really only missed three months. Why are you six months behind? And I think the answer to that is, I hope I don't step on toes, is that they've gone back in the weeds where maybe they've already went once. And they're rehashing. Is that accurate, Chris? Some instances, there were different things, and we were appointed last year, um, right next to the directors, <coughs> to uh, develop some use tables and some other information and get that to the consultants to start putting stuff back together. Um, so there was a slowdown at my desk for me to challenge my daily planning work and that other stuff. Um, so that occurred, then we had this other stuff at the time. I got ill, separations. One of the consultants who was working on this project left. Um, so it's kind of one person to add me they have to be replaced twice and then those people left, so each of there. So I mean, there's no hard deadlines that have been put to the zoning board. Right. And yeah. in fairness to them, you're right. Okay. And, and, and other guys, so before we send over, do we think that and, and I want them to do it right, I don't want to push them fascinating, but do you think that we should close the planning department for, for general planning questions a day or two a week so you can focus? Do you think that would be helpful? Um, we don't have to close the planning department or anything like that. Um, it, 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 we don't need to do that for a day or two a week for general questions. Um, or, or it's not just general questions, it's applications. But that's, you know, frankly, that's the reason why there's two planners in that department. Right. Women and you know, all that baby stuff, they answer all those questions about zoning, administration, and development, things like that. And then another one with the higher level stuff. Um, the higher level matters like your EPO. I mean, since I bring it up, EPO is a very different document than a land use plan or a comp plan, which is a big, broad, general point. Slate says, develop your goals, have them be supported, and then rely upon that. The, the law doesn't say it's going to have this, it's going to have that, it's going to do that. It knows it's, it's, it's comp plan, land use plan. And while there are re regulations around some of that, it's wide open for a community to decide what it's going to be. This is legislative um, policy making. So, so it's really wide open, so there's not a prescription as to what needs to occur. Um, so some of the stuff there, you do is very different than that. Now, insofar as the, I was understood, started that retreat was that with the land use plan, largely that would be done exactly as Linda described. The consultant's going to do it. Uh, they work with these things. They, since they're working with these things, pretty much as their bread and butter, uh, make the land use plans. Oh! Very familiar and very, very, so, intrinsically tied into these concepts that inform these things. Um, so they're going to have all that knowledge and stuff just readily available for them to, to input. 
uh, but that would mostly be done by the consultants with some question masking and some looking at by the zoning board. The zoning board looks at it, there's tweaks done, um, and they'll have, you know, we get involved with any public information sessions, whatever needs to occur with all that stuff, um, and move that forward. But by and large, outside of here, meets what we as the town of Summerfield want for our land and how we want our land to be used in this town. I kind of agree with Reese there that we just kind of keep our head down and keep going on with the UDO. I mean, We've been working on this, you know, since 2012. And it's just got started. And I don't want to feel like, you know, the zoning boards need to be pushed. I've been to a lot of those meetings. Um, there's things that they've got questions about as to why things got taken out. How did this get put in? What happened there? It's not a, you know, just people sit down and, and let, let's go through this. There, there was a lot of thought, there was a lot of good discussion um, in the zoning board and the UDO committee meetings. And I really don't want to give them pressure on getting this done. And if the land use plan is, if we can get this UDO done, because they've worked, Two years I was going to that. And then we come back with the lady, lady use plan, boom, all you gotta do is insert it. That's it. 160D, take it and insert it. If we start with the base book, then add the stuff I think is more easier than trying to rush them with the UDO. Now they've got to sit here and think about the land use plan and, and you're bombarding them with all this information that's food got to go in this book. When there's nothing that's saying, hey, now. All right, this is not an open floor, but Don, I'm allow you to ask a question. You seem to have one. I just wanted to say, <clears throat> from attending the UDO meetings with the zoning board where they attended them, many times they would say, that their name is on this, and I just want to throw that in there. And then they'd come up with an extra question because they wanted to make sure everything's fitting right in all the, the squares and the holes and everything else. But their biggest concern, from what I have seen as an observer, is they're looking at it. They know this is going to go to Summerfield, go to the council, and they want to make sure all the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, and that's what I have observed. So I'm just showing my observation out there. But they are taking their time, from what I have seen because they want to make sure that this is done properly. So I just want to throw that out there. And I'm not taking that away from them. I believe that wholeheartedly. And I commend them on the hours of the time that they've been spending on that. But if they're doing that and they've done their piece and now they're waiting on revisions and whatnot, they can't really do much else until that comes back and see if they got any more questions. So while they're in wait mode for that, then why can't we be working on the land use plan or at least have a consultant get a skinny skeleton on it and then have directional questions and then give them something to think about when they're in their wait time or if we have to get because of COVID we have to get into a pause moment because we can't have a public hearing because we can't get everybody in to see and hear what's going on then Okay, we're, we're paused, we're waiting, we can't do anything else here, we've gone as far as we can. Why can't we be working on this and, and continuing? That's all I'm asking. And then once we get through with the UDO, it has to go to legal, then it's kicked back from legal, they have to work on it and tweak it some more, and the tweaking and the tweaking goes on and on, and you know, that, that's basically what the frustration I think it is coming down from. Yeah, the people have any questions? Yes, I have comments. Um, my other comments. Are y'all finished talking about the video? Can I offer one insight on the video process? Please. It is never, ever going to be perfect. Never, ever will be. It will be amended more often than not. So I, I offer that only so that if our expectation of the Zoning board's expectation is a perfect product. They're doing for failure. And they shouldn't expect it. Just doing the best they can with it. And time goes on, 
That's why it wouldn't succeed. So. And, and that was always my vision, and if we ask them for it to speed up, it's with that knowledge that, hey, y'all, y'all, whatever y'all turn out is going to be better than what we have today. Absolutely. And so I, my hope for them is to get it turned out. And if it's not perfect, we, we know we've got to go back and take care of 160 million in the next couple of months. So we're going to be back in it. And that, that was, that's my hope. 